When I was born in 1999, that's the year that Hugo Chavez became president of Venezuela. At the beginning, our family was doing well. My parents owned a gas station. We had our own home, we had cars. As the government nationalized businesses, they capped prices. This created shortages of every good you can imagine. I could not find milk many weeks at a time. When they nationalized water and electricity, there was no maintenance of the equipment, and we had blackouts for days. Businesses were not able to profit. Our family went from earning three to five thousand dollars a month in 2000 to earning just two dollars a day in the year 2016 when I left. Venezuela went from being one of the most prosperous countries in the Western Hemisphere to becoming one of the poorest. If this can happen to the country with the biggest oil reserves, it can happen any place in the world. If this can happen to a democracy, it can happen to any other democracy. Policies that are being proposed today in the United States, such as the Green New Deal, Medicare for All, all these sound good, but the devil is in the details. They're proposing a system so expensive that we need to print the money to actually pay for these programs. And we know what happens when governments print money excessively, like in Venezuela. It leads to hyperinflation, it leads to poverty, and eventually to a massive healthcare and humanitarian crisis. Today, in universities all over the country, they try to tell college students that more government involvement in their lives is the solution to their problems, when in reality, it is too much government involvement in their lives what's causing their problems. What I've seen in the rhetoric of politicians on the left in the United States is not that they want to make the poor richer, but that they want to make the rich poorer. The only way for a society to prosper is through the free market and making everybody prosperous, not just taking away from some in order to make our society more equal. Freedom is very precious, and because it is so hard to gain back, we really have to protect it here in the United States so that we never become a socialist country. From my experience, I can tell you that socialism takes and capitalism creates.